this is Chef Ave, and today I will teach you the basics of palette painting. So, what we're going to use today is buttercream, both for the cake and the palette paint. So, let's go ahead and make that beautiful palette painted cake. What you want to do is to mark your cake. Like, you want to have a general idea where you want to put your decors or your design. So, it's not really a drawing, just a reminder for me to, so I remember where I want to put all my decors. So, for the basic palette painting, we're going to use just two palette knives, the number one and the number two. And I'm not even going to use this for decorating. I'm just going to use this to hold the buttercream. Okay, so we're going to start off with red. The best base cake for this is a ganache covered cake but sometimes well like today i'm also using buttercream for the covering of the cake all right so first you just press down swipe side to side and then swipe it down like that When you're using a palette knife, you don't want excessive buttercream on your palette knife. Again, swipe side to side and swipe down. If you see some of the base showing, just cover that with more buttercream. Before you start doing palette painting on the cake, especially if it's your first time, it's best if you practice on a cake board. Now remember, this is just the basics of palette painting. Of course, in the future, you'd like to, add, to try more advanced technique. Make sure you're keeping your palette knife at an angle parallel to your cake. If you do this, you're going to scrape off the buttercream. First one. If you're using buttercream for your base, it helps if you chill the cake first before you apply the palette painting.
they would like to go smaller like make smaller flowers as you get to the top of your decor The beauty of palette painting is it can be an extra an abstract design. So if you mess it up a little, it's fine. No one's going to judge you. Except yourself. Right now we're going to do the fillers using purple notice I have very little buttercream on the palette knife these are going to be very small flowers In the future, you want to practice using not just one color, but two or three colors for each flower. You know, so you have a gradient color. Now remember we are making a gothic design in time for Halloween so we do have morbid colors here blood red and we call it funeral parlor purple yeah but you can use happier shades like yellow pink yeah so now we're going to do the little details which will be the stamens the the stems and the leaves 
Okay, so I have here a lavender colored buttercream. That's what we'll use for the stamens of the big red flowers. I am using a tip number two. If you don't have that, it's fine. You can just use um, a bare piping bag with the tip cut off. Just make a very small opening on the end of your piping bag. Make sure you don't follow a certain pattern because stamens are really like that in nature. They're not exactly round. Now we go to the leaves, and since this is a gothic cake, you don't want to have so much leaves, and you don't also want light-colored leaves. Now for the base, I just want a slightly bigger one. Push it forward a little and then pull it back. Push it forward. I'm going to show you. Push it forward. When you pull it back, turn it to the side a little. There. He, I don't know where to put my other leaf. Be very gentle when you're doing this. You don't want to be heavy-handed and put too much pressure. Because if you do, you're going to dent your cake, especially if you're using buttercream. just tiny green things at the bottom For the stems, we're, we're going to use a piping bag because it's much easier. There's no point in trying to do everything using a palette knife. 
then you can easily use a piping bag to make a stem well yeah if it's it's doable using a palette knife There you go. Now, I just want beads at the bottom of my at the bottom of the cake. So, I will just pipe small beads, purple beads at the bottom of the cake. So I have here a piping bag filled with buttercream and I just snipped the tip off. And I will use this to pipe small beads at the bottom of the cake. If you have a round tip number three then that's fine you can use that There you go. I hope you enjoyed today's free tutorial. If you are interested in more, just head on over to my Facebook page, Chef Ava's Cakes and Class. And I also have a YouTube channel. It's The Buttercream Eva.